Hello everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learning DSLRvideo.com. Used to work in the audio industry about seven years ago. Used to design large sound systems. Um, went to University of Miami and I had some friends that have gone on to own their own or work in re successful recording studios. And that's kind of what I started out doing. And I've been kind of looking for more of a bookshelf type speaker that's really accurate, kind of a near field monitor uh, speaker setup. And a couple of them came back and recommended the Genelec 8030A. So I thought I'd give it a look and see if it was better than the speakers I'm currently using. I'd say in the past seven years that the sensor technology built into the DSLRs has changed dramatically, especially in low noise performance. But I would say probably speaker technology in the last seven years, probably go out on a limb and say it probably hasn't changed that much. In the videos you see me in my office, those are Kef Q30s that I bought like 18 years ago. They are made from 1993 to 1996 and I love them. They're back when I was comparing them like 18 years ago against just about everything, they were beating out speakers that were three, four times their price. So I compared the Genelex to my Kefs. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell you from about 500 hertz to about 5000 hertz, the Genelex are much more accurate than my Kefs. However, the CAFs have much more low-end response than the Genelex have. But that can be easily solved by buying a Genelex subwoofer. Also, the Genelex have a much better transient response. And what I mean by that is like if you were to strike a piano, when a hammer comes down on the string, you have a very quick, fast, you know, spike that goes up in amplitude and back down again. It's a very quick transient response that happens. And to have a speaker actually reproduce that correctly and accurately is kind of tough and my caps do not do as well as the Genelex do. The Genelex speakers are self-powered and by that I mean they have a 40 watt amplifier built inside the speaker. I'm not crazy about this idea. I much rather have the amplifier separate from the actual speaker. Having a heat producing element within a speaker like that really decreases the longevity of the speakers. Like my Kefs are 18 years old and they'll probably do another 18. But when you put an amplifier like that in there, probably longevity is going to be cut down severely. So you might be thinking 40 watts doesn't sound like a lot, but actually in this case where it's a near field environment where I'm only one meter or three feet away from the speaker, what happens is these speakers produce 100 decibels for one watt. So it only takes one watt to be extremely loud, and that gives you plenty of headroom logarithmically as you go from one watt to 40 watts. So they have plenty of drive. The other thing about these speakers, they have kind of a, a very professional input, which is great and all, but for the average Joe, these XLR connectors, they're gonna have no idea what to do with them. It would have been kind of nice if they gave us several options for an input, such as an RCA or something else. So is it time to retire the KEFs and put the Genelex in service? No, I don't think so because I'm really not wild about the amplifier inside the speaker and I'm not really wild about buying a subwoofer. I mean, I have subwoofer systems. In fact, I've got one over here. It's an 18 inch subwoofer, um, but I hardly ever use it anymore. But I'd rather keep things simple. So I'm not quite there yet. And these are pretty expensive speakers and I don't mind spending that kind of money. They're $650 a piece approximately. And that doesn't even include the subwoofer, which I'd need to really add some bass to get back to where I was with the CAFs. So I'm still on my quest for looking for a near field monitor that's very accurate. And I think accuracy is very important for us guys that are doing video editing because you need to be able to give something to the client that will play back well on other speaker systems. All right, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.